let me ask you something. Have you ever needed to quickly message a client, a partner, or freelancer, but email felt too slow? Well, good news. Microsoft Teams lets you chat, call, or even video conference with people outside your organization. It is called external access, and it is a game changer. Today, I will walk you through exactly how to set it up and use it step by step. My name is Carlos, and I help small businesses all over the world with their Microsoft 365 and Google Workspace subscriptions. For more information, at itwithcarlos.com. So, what exactly is external access? Simple put, it allows you to collaborate with people outside your Microsoft 365 organization. Instead of relying on back and forth emails, you can have a real time conversation, share files, and even jump on a quick call, all from within Teams. Imagine discussing project updates with a freelancer or checking it with a client, just like you would with your coworkers. No more hassle, just seamless communication. Now, who can actually use this feature? If you are using Microsoft 365 Business, whether it is basic, standard, or premium, you are already set. And here's the best part. The people you invite don't even need a paid Microsoft 365 subscription. They can join with a free Microsoft account, even as a guest. That makes super accessible for everyone you need to work with. All right, let's dive into a quick demo. Adding an external user is super easy. Here is how you do it. Within Microsoft Teams, you need to click on the Chat tab. You will find it in the left toolbar. Then you need to click on New Chat. You will find it here, in this icon. We click on it. Now here, instead of typing a name from your company, enter the person's email address. In our example, we are going to invite someone with a Gmail account. We will invite Herman Bates. Once we enter the email address, Microsoft Teams will search and it recognizes it is an external user. We click on it and then we confirm by selecting it. Now the external user should have received an invitation. As we can read here, the external user will be sent an email invite to join Teams. Now I will take a moment to change the name of this chat by clicking here on this pencil and I will enter the new name. I will call it Chat with Mr. Bates. Then I click on Save. I will start typing a message. Mr. Bates will be able to see this message as soon as he connects to Microsoft Teams. Now we're going to access Mr. Bates' mailbox. Here we can see that he received the invitation. Carlos Salas has invited you to chat me with Mr. Bates on Microsoft Teams. Chat with Mr. Bates is the name of the chat that we gave it. We open the message and Mr. Bates will be able to click on Join Teams. We click on it and we will continue with the browser. If the user prefer, he can also use the Teams app. We're going to use the browser. At this point, since Mr. Bates doesn't have a Microsoft account, he will be able to create one by clicking here, Create One. He will enter his email address and click on Next. And he will enter a password. Then click on Next. In order to create an account, he need to enter his name and last name. Then click on Next. Then he will complete the information that is prompted. Click on Next. He will receive a code on his email address. Let's get it. He got it here. And we will copy the code. Then click on Next. Mr. Bates has created his account and is now accessing Microsoft Teams. Then he will click on Continue. And he is now within the chat that I created. Chat with Mr. Bates. That's the name that I give it to the chat. Let's respond to this message. And just now entering a message. Mr. Bates will be able to see the message that I just sent. And that's it. No extra steps. No complicated setup. But what if you need to collaborate with multiple external users at once? No problem. You can start a group chat and add external contacts the same way. We're going to enlarge our chat here. 
To add more users to our chat, we will click on the upper right corner, where we can see all the participants. Then here we can click on Add People, and we will enter the email address of the new contact. I have entered a new external contact. In this case, it's carlos at itbe.xyz, and it recognizes an external. We click, and then we confirm that we want to invite him. We can see here that all chat history will be included, and an invitation will be sent to the external user as well. Then we click on Add. The new user will have to accept the invitation. If we access the mailbox of the new external contact, we will find the invitation, and we have it here. Microsoft Teams, Carlos Salas has invited you to chat with Mr. Bates on Microsoft Teams. And here, the new external user will have to follow the process to join Teams. Need more than just text? You can start a voice or video call right from your chat. You just need to click on Meet Now, and I will be able to select a video call or audio call. It is perfect for quick meetings, brainstorming sessions, or even just catching up with a face-to-face -face conversation without scheduling a formal meeting link. Now, sometimes external access doesn't work right away, and that's usually because admin settings. If you are an admin, here's how to check the setup. We will access the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Within your Microsoft account, you will find the admin icon here. If you don't see it here, you can click on the nine little dot in the upper left corner, and we will have it here, Admin. Now we will go to the Microsoft 365 Teams Admin Center. We click on the upper left, then click on Show All. We scroll down, and we will find here Teams. This is within the Admin Center's section. We click on Teams. Within the Microsoft Teams Admin Center, we click on Users, External Users. And here, within Teams and Skype for Business users in external organization, you need to make sure that you have allowed all external domains. If you scroll down, make sure that people in my organization can communicate with unmanaged Teams account. You need to turn it on. And also select this option. External users with Teams accounts not managed by organization can contact users in my organization. I also suggest to select this option. People in my organization can communicate with accounts in trial teams tenant. We will turn it on. And also, people in my organization can communicate with Skype users. Now we can click on Save. And we confirm. Once these settings are adjusted, your external access should work without issues. You need to know that after saving these settings, you may need to wait a few minutes, 15 to 30 minutes sometimes, for changes to take effect. By the way, if the external user is also part of Microsoft 365 subscription, the user may need to check these settings on their Microsoft 365 administrator. Before we wrap up, let's talk security. While external access is a fantastic tool, it is important to stay mindful on what information you are sharing. Here are a few best practices. Be cautious with sensitive data. Only share files and messages with the right people. Encourage external users to enable multi-factor authentication for added security. Keep your Microsoft Teams setting up to date to prevent unauthorized access. A little security awareness goes a long way. And there you have it. External access in Microsoft Teams makes working with clients partners, and freelancers easier than ever. Now, here's my challenge to you. Try adding an external contact in Teams today, and let me know in the comments how it went. If you found this video useful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Microsoft 365 and Google Workspace tips. Remember, stay secure in the cloud and keep tech savvy.